Look what's arrived five minutes before I'm about to get a train. Uh, let's try it. This is not sponsored, but we, we, we this has used the Niwa um, S23, S22 Ultra um, case. It comes packaged quite nicely, as you can see here, with um, a filter thread, a hat, some handles, and the actual cage itself. And it's uh, a very good piece of kit as well, you know. It's uh, We've got a uh, filter thread for uh, an ND filter. I, I use a variable ND usually. And then um, your two handles. The actual filter itself... Boop. 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 The actual filter thread itself is actually 67 metres, but I've used a 77 uh, mil step up ring here so I can put bigger filters on like like this one here but there's something along the lines of um, there is a locking latch here that opens up to allow you to put your phone in which goes in nice and snugly like that that counts as a try in this case a Samsung S22 Ultra which uh, clicks like that uh, and just on its own, it's you know it's it's robust. It it protects the screen here, um, and it's not too chunky in the pocket. You've then got your buttons for volume and power, which are tactile and quite tactile and clicky. And like any other camera cage, you've got. Um, your handle mounting threads with airy lo locating pins. You've got various points for your handle. You can still get to the pen, and you've got various quarter. Ooh, ee, uh, ee, and you've got various quarter twenty for quarter twenty mounting points, as well as one, two, three cold shoe mounts for putting things like, you know, microphones and whatnot on there. It has removable side handles. Uh, let's do that. Oof. And. Move. Most important thing is is this here. This fil is this thing here. The, the filter thread. So this is a this is removable. Um, and what I do is I put a variable ND filter on. As you can see there, it's like sunglasses for your lens, and that allows you to set your ISO and your shutter speed double your frame weight so you get that silky smooth kind of footage and it makes it look less like a mobile phone video and more like you know an actual cinema camera not quite the quality of the cinema camera but you know it's getting there and of course you you could also for, for your night shoots put put a light on there and it's actually you know not bad it's it's pretty pretty good you put your mic put your microphone there and uh and away you go and that means you're going to get less grainy footage, you know, when you're indoors or on night shoots. And here's like a simple rig you can make with it, with a tripod. Um, I've got a wireless mic here, but you can have any old mic plugged in, your side handles and what have you. And then this would obviously detach so you can go handheld. And, you know, it's, uh, it's good. Let's try it.
Yeah. You know what? I've, I've never seen the fountains before. The yeah, they're nice. Well, I'm not... If I'd have come on the waterways, it'd have been quicker than the railways. <laughs> <laughs> Gone. Hopefully good. Yes. There's a line being filmed. Look, there's a like in-house brewery, which is pretty cool. And the, the train platform is literally there. You can see the trains. So that has been the quick early impressions review of the unit here if you use it for nothing else though i would definitely get it so that you can attach an nd a variable nd to your phone and get that cinematic look that's all you need you don't have to have any of this stuff attached you don't even have to have the side handles i mean it is pocketable it is just pocketable just just like that as it is you know straight in your pocket yes it's slightly wide but it's it's actually you know it, a good jeans pocket you can just put it in with the ND filter on and, and get that cinematic footage that, that you're looking for so until next time I've been Rubid you've been Awesome Source and we'll see you at the next video ta -ra.